In this video, I want to show you the shortcut of finding the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. And if the determinant of this matrix is not zero, that means it has an inverse. So I will also show you the shortcut of finding the inverse of this 3 by 3 matrix. Have a look. First, let's find the determinant of this first. And this only works for 3 by 3 matrix. First, let's write down the first two columns again right here. So negative 4, 1, and 5, and then 2 to 1. What we want to do next is, we are going to multiply these numbers diagonally and add them. So let's see, negative 4 times 2 times 2 is negative 16, and we add 2 times 3 times 5, which is 30, and then we add 1 times 1 times 1, which is plus 1. Then we are going to subtract pretty much the same thing, but the other way, so 2 times 1 times 2 is 4. And then you add them with the next one and just subtracting the result of this. So negative 4 times 3 times 1 is negative 12. And then lastly, 1 times 2 times 5 is 10. So this right here is 14 plus 1 is 15. And then minus negative 8 plus 10 is 2. So we have 13 for the determinant. And because this is not equal to 0, so of course I can get to show you the shortcut of finding the inverse of this 3 by 3 matrix. So to do so, I'm going to first write down the matrix right here. I am going to have negative 4, 1, 5, and then 2, 2, 1, and then 1, 3, 2. And I'm going to copy down these first two columns again, right here. So negative 4, 1, 5, 2, 2, 1. And then I'm going to copy down these two rows right here. Negative 4, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3. Lastly, I'm going to copy down these right here to here. So negative 4, 2, 1, 2. And the idea of doing this is that it helps you to do the cofactors matrix. What we'll do next is you get rid of this and you get rid of that. All right, here we go. I will tell you though, the inverse of A is going to be, first, we do one divided by the determinant of A. And that's why if the determinant is equal to zero, then the inverse wouldn't exist. Then what we want to do next is we are going to come up with the cofactor matrix in the following way. Have a look. Do you see this is 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have a total of 9 2 by 2 matrix if you look at it like that. You are going to find the determinant of these 9 2 by 2 matrix. And when you do this, you do not have to worry about the uh, the sign, you know, when you do the cofactor expansion, you don't have to worry about that if you do the shortcut, which is very nice. So here we go. 2 by 2 matrix right here. So 2 times 2 is 4, minus 3 times 1, which is 4 minus 3 is just 1. All right, continue. 3 times 5 is 15, minus 2 is 13, and then 1 times 1 is 1, minus 10 is negative 9. Continue. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. So 1 minus 4 is negative 3. And then this times that is negative 8. Minus 5 is negative 13. 10 minus negative 4, which is 10 plus 4, yeah, 14. And then 2 times 3 is 6. Minus 2, which is 4. 1 minus negative 12, so 1 plus 12 is positive 13. Lastly, negative 4 times that is negative 8, minus 2, so it's negative 10. Okay, so that's pretty much how you come up with the cofactor matrix. But after we have this, we still have to do the transpose. So have a look. What we will get is 1 over the determinant of A, which is 13. And then for this transpose, you just have to put a row as a column. So you get 1, 13, and negative 9. 
And then the next one, you write negative 3, negative 13, and then 14. And then 4, 13, and negative 10. Lastly, you just had to distribute the 1 over 13 to all the entries here. So we get 1 over 13. And then this is negative 3 over 13, 4 over 13. 13 over 13 is just 1. Negative 13 over that is negative 1. And then that is 1. So negative 9 over 13. 14 over 13. Lastly, negative 10 over 13. And there you have it. This right here is perhaps the easiest way to find the inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix. Hopefully this right here helps. That's it.